Hi everyone, my name is Kier, but here on the interwebs I go by Hobo Kiki, and today I have a flip through video of my Hobonichi cousin, sized A5. Ah, my baby. <laughs> In other words, I am going to be flipping through the entire month of October. You've already seen this. So let's just go ahead and jump right on in it. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. So for this week, I decided it would be best to do a Mean Girl spread. And I'm not mad at it. <laughs> Pink and black is what it's all about when you're thinking Mean Girls because clearly on Wednesdays we wear pink. If you know, you know. I did a little doodle here. You know, nothing major, just something doodly. Oh, my nails matches with this spread. <laughs> and I love this little area that says burn book. This was like just, it was just a cute spread to me. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember from the top of the dome. <laughs> Sonja Stegman, these stickers. And then uh, Letters to Apollo is where the original kit came from but I kind of like did my own thing. <laughs> Moving forward to the next little um, spread we have here. So from October 10th through the 16th, I tried to do something a little bit different. I used primarily Giving Girl stickers, but I did have this sticker from Sticky Club. And I don't know, she cute or whatever, and I feel like she was harvesty. Let's see, she's got like a mousy mouse and a fox and a pig, just a bunch of animals. Oh, is that a fish? Show sure is. And a cat. <laughs> she just love her some animals. But um, it's like wheat or barley or something growing back here, which is also in the Giving Girl kit. So I felt like it all matched. And the orange matched with the rest of the spread as well. So to me, this was giving exactly what I needed. I just love Jennifer's icons. I don't know. It's just something about them that I cannot explain, but they're freaking adorable. And I would just like all my icons to look like that. This is October 17th through the 23rd. And I decided to do a, what is this? Harry Potter. I decided to do a Harry Potter spread. This is from Shein. These are from, ooh, you know what? This is from Simply Gilded. And uh, I honestly am drawing a blank as to where these stickers are from. I'm sorry, but I will definitely leave it in the description and I will probably leave it somewhere in the video so you can see whose stickers these are from. These Harry Potter-esque stickers, I'm sorry. These transparent stickers are definitely from Letters to Apollo. This was a cute spread. I really like this corner and everybody, everybody basically on Instagram really enjoyed this corner. I don't know why. I don't know why we liked it, but we all did. Does it seem kind of like, it was heavy over here, like with this cluster and this cluster, these had the darker colors and there was no darker colors over here. So if I could change anything, I would put some more darker colors over here because it leans pretty heavy in dark colors on this side of the page. Do you feel what I'm saying? Is it just a me thing? <laughs> all right. Moving forward, we have October 24th through the 30th. This is the week that we celebrated Halloween. Well, we kind of celebrated Halloween twice, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Why not? Why not get as much candy as your teeth can bear, right? So this was a kit from Vanilla Paper Co. And I mixed it with Rose Colored Days. So this is from Rose Colored Days. These Jack Skeleton and Sally stickers are from Rose Colored Days as well. And once we get into it, you'll see if you're new here, hi, hello, <laughs> welcome. But you'll see that I actually like to match my weekly kit with 
my daily kit. So we're gonna get into it. We are gonna get into it. Don't you worry about a thing. But I really enjoy the colors. I love me a good pastel Halloween spread. It's not my favorite spread per se, but it's cute or whatever. <laughs> and then lastly, the 31st is right here, but I'm not gonna talk about this too much. You're just getting a little sneaky peeky, little sneaky peeky, little sneaky peeky. We'll talk about this spread when we do the November, um, November flip through. And I know you guys, I know this flip through is late, but you know what they say, better late than never, right? But never late is better. Is that what Drake says? <laughs> All right. In case you're wondering, I have two sticker books under this to kind of even it out. So where, you know, it don't look too crazy. So this is um, from Sterling Inc. I love having these here. And I just love how it matched with the theme, which was coffee. So as you can see, and I just like, I just like how this spread looks together. I accidentally uh, had some washi here covering some things and it ripped, when I took it off, it ripped off the words. But that's okay, because they weren't very positive thoughts anyways. I didn't need them in my life. So that was the washi telling me to let that ish go. <laughs> so, so now I was happy to reach 500 followers. That's what's up. This is moving on to a new week. So as you can see, I can tell which week it is because it's a whole different theme for that week. So, so even if you're new to this, you will be able to see that it's a new week because I'm changing themes. That's how I like it. That's how my brain organizes things. So this is a very pink and black week and honestly i really like it like i do like how it came out i love the stickers yes like i said letters to apollo it just made me happy and i need to write more in different ink colors because i don't know why but that makes me so freaking happy i like what i did here with the um speech bubbles making it seem like they're talking i don't know i was really going for like a sketchy kind of like you know, just like a teenage feel, like a teenager writing in their agenda or, you know, their diary or, I guess, burn book in this situation. So, I did see Hocus Pocus 2 finally on this day. And, honestly, it was not worth the hype. <laughs> you know, the first one was definitely better. But, you know, it was a... Uh, what can I say about it? I don't know. It was nice to go down memory road again. That's what I'll say. So more speech bubbles and in the speech bubbles, I put my like to do's for the day. And then I journaled, we had a movie night. So we watched a bunch of different movies that night. And then I talked about it on this day. We watched, uh, well, I went down the Jeffrey Dahmer rabbit hole. If y'all didn't know, I'm from Wisconsin. That's why you can see that I root for the Packers. I can talk mess about the Packers, but you can't, okay? <laughs> All right, just so we get that clear. Yes, I know they suck this season. You know what? I just gave up on them, but not really. But, like, really, I have to because it's not going to go anywhere. But I can say this. You can. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can say whatever you want. But, um, so when I was growing up, we did hear a lot about Jeffrey Dahmer, but not a lot, but a lot at the same time. Like, they try to use him as a boogeyman as to why kids shouldn't stay out late at night. And so, uh, I got really trapped in like the whole Jeffrey Dahmer thing and I had to watch everything and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Yes, I'm glad we were told to stay indoors because that's crazy. Moving on to a new week. So as you can see, all pink and black and now we're moving to like the uh, harvesting spread from The Giving Girl. I started reading, uh, it's actually called Vengeful. I don't know why I wrote Vengeance, but man, that book was good. You know, I definitely recommend everyone read it. It is the sequel to another book. And I can't think of it at the top of my head right now. But it was good. And we made cookies on Tuesday. This, these two days suck, so we're not going to talk about it. We're just going to pretend like it never happened. I did like this scrolly thing. 
that was kind of cute, you know, from my bullet journaling days. And then I did these little raindrops because it was a rainy day. I don't know. It was a real chill week of journaling. I thought it was pretty cute. Now we're moving forward with a new theme, which is my Harry Potter theme. And on this page, I actually have a video if you wanted to seek it out. And I basically just journaled about the different Harry Potter houses. If you didn't know, I am a Hufflepuff. And she's the cutest one on the beach. Look how cute she is with the little puffs and her little headband. She's so cute. And a little Converse. I see you. I see you. She is so adorable. They're all cute. I'm not going to lie to you. They're all cute. I'm being biased because I am a Hufflepuff. <laughs> but they're all cute. Also from Sonia Stegman, by the way. Very adorable. And then because these two pages were not used as journaling for the day. I journaled for the day by cutting each of these two pages in half and putting two days on one page. Wow, why did that feel so complicated to explain? I hope you guys got the picture because that was a mess for me to like explain, but I think you got it. I mean, you see it, you see it. Hopefully you're a visual learner <laughs> and you can see it. But I liked how this came out as well. And then on October 22nd, it was our trunk or treat. And the kids got dressed up. If you can't tell, baby girl is, what is her name? From Encanto, Dolores. There we go, Dolores. Then <laughs> my youngest, Sonic. I know, my youngest is Spider-Man. And just look how he's posing. What a goofball. And then my middle child was Sonic. And those were like li literally their favorite characters for that year. So it was perfect for them. And let's see. Moving forward to a new week. As you can see, bright pastels. See, I wasn't feeling it, y'all. Sometimes it'd be like that, so... Some days you just get a blank page and it is what it is because life be life. But I still think it was a cute spread with these bright colors. Bright colors automatically cheer me up. They really do. I wish I would have put a little something here, even though even if it was just a sticker or something. And then this is the 31st, but it's on a Monday, so we're moving into a new week, as you can see. And it was just a black and white week, but I actually love it. I really want to go into it and show y'all how it looks because it was just, like, awesome. But I guess we're going to have to wait until the next video. I can, however, show you guys my... Um, book of the month so if you're new here this is my to be read section and then each month I read a book as you can see and for the month of October see I even wrote vengeance here but it's called vengeful and then it is the sequel to this shit and honestly I can't tell you which book is better but they both are amazing if you like morally gray characters as much as I do, then pick up these books. I think I want it more. And I love a book that makes me mad because it ends. That means the author did their job, bro. They left you on that hook and that's what they're supposed to do. But anyways... <laughs> That's basically it for my October flip through. I know you probably thought that this was the end of the video, but it's not. I actually have a treat. So, as you may or may not know, I have the Sticky Club Advent. And I'm thinking that I want to open today's Advent with you. If you want to not watch this, this is your time to click off the video, otherwise you will be spoiled from what Sticky Club has in store for us today. If you are interested in seeing what I got from Sticky Club today, 
Then let me go ahead and show you. Introducing the Sticky Club Advent Calendar for all three collections. Vintage, pop, and cute. I've already made a video explaining how this happens and like what you're supposed to do and how you can get your own. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open each of them up. Like I said, now's your time to click. Click away if you don't wanna be spoiled. If for some reason you haven't gotten it yet or you're choosing to open it later, now's your time to look away. Or maybe you want to be spoiled just a little bit so you can see what's inside. Let's open cute first. This is how the envelope looks. Adorable. And today we have, oh, let's see, do I have any kind of white background to put this on? Yeah. I'm gonna bring my Obanichi cousin back in so you guys can see the stickers. The little hedgehogs. They're so cute. It looks like they have some red foiling on them as well. I think they're adorable. Couldn't tell me that they aren't. So that was the cute. Let's do the vintage next. Vintage. Okay, we got some glasses. I'm not going to lie, this one's a little bit on the spooky side. I don't know why, but it just is. And it looks like it's on some matte paper, so it'll blend well with whatever paper you choose to stick it on. I really love the vintage um, envelopes. And I didn't show you how the front looks. That's how the front of the envelope looks. Gorgeous. I love the inside of the vintage envelope. All right. Last but not least, all right, this is the pop. That was the front of the envelope and on the inside, okay. Looks like we have like some tarot cards and some stars and magical stuff. Y'all know I'm into that crap. <laughs> Y'all know I'm into that kind of stuff. I know this might not be everybody's cup of tea, but for some reason I like this kind of stuff. And so I am happy. In the last video, I asked you guys, well, the last video that talked about Sticky Club, I asked you guys which was your favorite stickers that, that I received. And everyone actually said the vintage. And I was kind of surprised. They said, well, actually, you guys said y'all love vintage, but y'all love the envelopes from Pop. And I can totally get that. I can stand behind that. My favorite stickers this time had to be Pop. I'm sorry. I'm into the magical stuff. You guys know I'm a nerd. All right, <laughs> now we're done for this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed your time with me today. If you did, please feel free to leave a like on the video. If you dislike the video, well then do what you gotta do, bro. Dislike the video. If you're subscribed, thank you so much. You're a real one. I love you guys and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.